Hi, I'm Gina Dearborn, Digital Learning Coach, and I'm here with a tech tip, and I'm going to share with you a free productivity and organizational tool called Google Keep. First, I'm going to start by telling you the seven reasons why you should give this tool a try. First of all, it easily integrates with our Google Apps for Education suite. It also syncs across multiple devices, so you can use Google Keep on your phone, your tablet, or your PC. It's also cloud-based, which means every time you build a note or create a to-do list, it automatically saves to the cloud. The fourth reason I love this tool is it's very easy to use Post-it style interface. As you can see, uh, there's notes and to-do list created. They're color-coded. You have the ability to add images, and it's a very versatile tool. It's also collaborative. Once you've created a note or to-do list, you can add people, and multiple people can be working on the to-do list at the same time. And again, this is all in real time. I also like the fact that you can save a note to your Google Docs, and automatically it'll be archived in your drive for later use. On your mobile device, you can also use the voice feature, where you can record a voice recording of a note or a reminder, and it will transcribe it into text, and it's a really great way to remember things when you're on the go. Let's get started using this tool. So first of all, you can log into Chrome, and you can go into the web store, and you're going to want to search for the app. So you're going to make sure that the app is selected, and you're going to type right in here, Google Keep. I've already added this to my Chrome, so you can see it says added, but for most likely if you're new, you'll have this blue button, Add to Chrome, and you can just go ahead and begin using the tool. You can also just type right into your browser here, once you're in Google, keep.google.com. So here's what my Google Keep board looks like, and each one of these little squares are different notes or to-do lists that I've created. And you can see that you can drag them around really easily on your board, depending on the priority. So if I want to make sure this Orchard Hills to-do list is really important first thing in the morning, I might drag it to my left. Um, this PTO meeting note, I don't need to worry about till next week, so I can drag it down here at the bottom, and so on. It's really easy to create a note. So let's start with creating a note. We're going to call this Friday. And I'm going to add three items here. I would like it to be in a checkbox. So over here, I can click on the three dots for more, and I can show my checkboxes. I can also share this list. So I'm going to click on the Share button, and I'm going to add teachers on my team. So that way, we can be working on it together. I'm going to save this. I can add more people later if I wish. I can color code it, so I want to make sure that I draw attention to this, so I'm going to change it to red. I also think I need to add a picture to this so my team knows what I'm talking about. Click on Add Image. I can take it from my desktop, Dropbox. If I'm on my mobile device, I could actually take a picture, or I could, again, um, use one from my camera roll. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this picture of our tech club. This takes a little while. If I'm happy with that, I can click Done. And there it is. Another great feature um, with creating these lists is that you can set a reminder. So if you don't want to forget a certain item or you want to remind yourself on Monday morning, you can simply set the date and the time right here, and you can remind yourself, which is a great feature. I'm going to go ahead and show you one last feature that I really like about this, which is how you can save a note to your drive. So I'm going to go ahead and save my Core 7 notes, and I'm going to click on the More Dots, and I'm going to copy to a Google Doc. I'm going to open the doc, 
The great thing is it will automatically give it the same name as I had it in my notes. You can see our course seven and eight meeting. And then I have our notes here. And again, I can share this and it's just a fantastic way to continue working on ideas um, that I've created in my notes or docs. So Google Keep is a great tool and I hope you get a chance to check it out.